It seems weird that when I join a community or a cult because title, like ones of Apple, to then leave later, I feel a sense of freedom. Something that has been telling you that all this great stuff is no longer lead you. Now how does Apple fit into that? Well, it's pretty easy to know when you find out why I left. So this is why I left the Apple cult. Oh boy, this will be fun. Hello everyone, Will here. Apple is the biggest phone and device brand there is to date and at one point people bought their phones due to the way they are and how exclusive their cool designs and much more. However, looking at it today, Apple is a brand that's got even more excited with exclusivity that many fans have rest for multiple reasons. I want to talk about pricing first as that's the biggest point and reason why many memes came up. While the oldest phone for which they're still making is the iPhone 7, costs about £449, which to many is a good price, though it's not really that different from the iPhone 6, it is noticeable how different it is. But this isn't compared with the iPhone X. By the way, what happened to the iPhone 9? Yes, we'll never know. But you know, the price. Way too much for a phone that has a glass cage which can easily break. This of course upset many Apple fans like me, due to how expensive they were, guessing so that people who are rich and willing to spend much more would of course do it. This in turn, however, did not go well in terms of sales. And, oh boy. Other contributors to low sales are of course the disappearance of the headphone jack. Now I for one you would like a headphone jack, which 99% of us can agree was probably the worst decision ever. Now I get it, yes, many don't like wire trailing out of pockets and all that stuff, and prefer wireless stuff like keyboards, headphones, and all that wireless Bluetooth stuff. Now that does not mean that they got rid of it because of that, no. Reason was, get this. Oh, everyone knows this by now. But if you didn't, it's to make sound quality better. No one asked for that. And the other feature was our Android's worst nightmare. But I won't go on about that one since it has fans and haters even in the newest Pixel phone. Ugh, Google. Though I was part of the Apple community, I was also part of the jailbreaking community, which to sum up were people who were hoping to modify their phones. Though it would get wild at some times, it was chill and not very chill. And waiting for a jailbreak grew longer and longer, but at the time, the time of the last jailbreak was, was about two months since the last jailbreak, and this was the iOS 9 era. But the time I would get a jailbreak, it would be disappointing since half the stuff on um, the semi jailbreak I would then get would not easily work. And that could have been easily done on Android. I will say here that the phone did not break any warranties since it did not have one, though it doesn't stop people from doing it. There are some tools that are useless and some that are good, though I have to say well done to Apple for trying their best to patch these loopholes, even though people want to extend more from just downloading out that you only authorize. Oh boy, comparison of the Androids versus iPhones. When an iPhone came out, people would say X already did that or X already did this feature. And if you live in that state of it's all revolutionary, new technology, then over time it gets stale, which does not help at all. This also does not help with knowing that many other phone makers have already done some of these revolutionary technology bits that have already done by these companies. Though not stealing from many features already done by other companies, it gets frustrating over time when you know that Apple is becoming behind in their competition in terms of features on their phone. Now, you think I would just talk about the iPhone, but no. The iPad is Apple's portable computer, and with it, I think it's actually good enough. Yes, it's also moving to the premium buyer thing and state, but just looking at latest iPad, I have to admit it looks good, which I'm happy for it. Yeah, overshadowed by the iPhone, of course. And then there's the iPod. Rest in peace, iPod.
Oh yeah, and there's the Apple Watch, but that's okay, I guess. Mm, well, different between the different series, there's just new features of the internals, but okay. It's oblivious that Apple has come some way in the modern era, but seeing Apple do some of this stuff is pretty disappointing, which is why I left a long time ago. And yes, if you're wondering, very long. Looking at one of their latest showcases, I found it very boring. Sorry about not uploading over the, near the holidays, November, my laptop went in, my iPhone, the connection between the two kind of broke, so I couldn't transfer sound files onto the laptop, and that didn't help. So I've got this now, I can easily transfer, and I hope to make more videos soon. Also going to the MCM Comic Con London. In the meantime, check out my Twitter and all that stuff, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, no that's late, but whatever. Anyway, see ya.